We often talk about Celebrate Recovery being for anybody who struggles with a hurt, hang up or have it. So whether you're somebody who was hurt as a child and you're still dealing with those issues or you've got people pleasing hang ups and things that keep you stuck in relationships or you're addicted to something, food, sex, alcohol, whatever it is, that Celebrate Recovery is really for anybody. In fact, that's the truth. Celebrate Recovery is for all of us because we've all been hurt and we've all hurt other people. We've all got things in our lives that keep us stuck and keep us frozen, things we wish we didn't deal with. And for many of us, we have these addiction issues that also just rob us of any joy or peace that we have in our life. The thing about Celebrate Recovery is that it's a biblical program and it's got eight principles that lead us from one place to the next place over one day at a time after one day at a time. So we begin where we realize that we're not God. We come out of denial. We face our fears. We face the problems that have keeping us stuck. We turn our lives over to Jesus. We do things like taking a moral inventory of our lives and we look at all the things that we've done have been done to us to help us come out of that. We talk to other people about what's happening. Then at the end, we serve other people because we believe that God uses our pain so that we can help other people when they go through pain. And so what we really wanna do is just tell you about this ministry, this place where you can come and you can find healing no matter what's going on in your life. We have some people that have gone through Celebrate Recovery for years that have dealt with issues like anxiety and they wake up every morning in a cold sweat and they just look at their day and they think, how am I gonna get through today? By working the principles and steps of recovery, they're able to find day by day freedom over that issue. We have other people who are severely depressed and they also need to find a way out. There's people like me who struggle with anxiety and I'm a recovering alcoholic. And I know that when I'm hurting, I medicate. Now, I haven't medicated with alcohol for over a decade, but I can find anything, whether it's working out or whether it's you know, spending money or anything, just give it to me and I will overdo it. And so we find that we've got these issues and what we need to do is we come clean about it. We talk to each other about it. We talk to God about it. We allow him to work in our lives and to find the thing that's really causing us pain. You know, the reality of it is, is that whatever we're doing tends to be a symptom. We think I need to come to recovery because I drink too much or I'm online too much or I spend too much money. And while that's true, we need to get out that simple behavior. We need to root it out. The truth is, is that often the reason we're doing those things are buried deeper inside of us. And so that's what recovery allows us to do. It allows us to find that, that pain that's in our lives, that's keeping us frozen, keeping us stuck. You know, the Apostle Paul said that he had become all things to all men so that by all possible means he may save some. Anything to get the job done. You know, I've watched a lot of ministries come and go through the churches over the years, but the one that stands out in my mind more than any of them is called Celebrate Recovery. It gives hope to the hopeless. It's hard work. It takes a lot of dedication, long hours, sitting down with your neighbor that bad times have fallen upon him, most of the time brought upon him by himself with the help of the evil one but the guys and gals with Celebrate Recovery, and I've traveled from one end of these United States to the other, they have done a terrific job. When I go to a church and speak, and I know that there's a Celebrate Recovery there, it makes me happy, happy, happy to be there. I'm Phil Robertson with Duck Dynasty, and I'm behind you, Celebrate Recovery. Good work. God's with you. So am I. Hi, my name is Mallory. I'm a grateful believer and I struggle with drug addiction. Hi, my name is Matt. I'm a grateful believer. I struggle with sexual addiction and pot addiction. Hi, my name is Rick. I'm a grateful believer and I struggle with medicating my feelings through food and through drugs. Hi, my name is Carol. I'm a believer who struggles with control. I'm Eloise. I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. I struggle with love and relationship addiction and codependency in relationship with a sexually addicted man. My name is Brett. I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. I'm in recovery from an addiction to alcohol and cocaine. Hi, my name is Alan. I'm a believer who struggles with uh, approval seeking and uh, sexual addiction. So I'm uh, Greg. I'm a grateful believer. I'm struggling with uh, relationship addiction. The first time I came to Celebrate Recovery, I so didn't want to be here. 
I knew I had a problem. I had hit a blow in my life, but my pattern has always been to run away and to hide from my problems. They were sharing all the things that I had been using alcohol to cover up my whole life. <laughs> I ran into a lot of finger pointing and judgment uh, in my life and when I finally came to celebrate recovery I realized that this was a safe place and I wasn't going to be uh, subject to that here. First time I came to celebrate recovery I wanted to puke. I was just so afraid, so nervous, so concerned that I would be judged. I was really just trying to convince my wife to stay with me. I felt that I was naked, that everyone could see my scars and see my hurts and see my stuff, and I didn't let anybody see that stuff. My whole life was fear. I mean, I smoked pot every day to not deal with my emotional pain. I remember sitting in the circle, I was suicidal and depressed and I didn't want to be there, and, but I also was so scared that I knew that I needed to do something different. I was ashamed of the things I, was, I had done. I was fearful of what others were going to think for the first time in my life. I knew that others were going to know the man that I had been. I was so afraid that uh, I was going to lose my marriage, and, and uh, I knew I had to be here at Celebrate Recovery. I am flawed, ultimately, but I, am, uh, I don't have to be stuck. Well, the big difference is I get to be me again, you know? I no longer have to, you know, uh, fake it drinking during the week and then going to church on Sundays, I mean, because that's really what I was doing. I can talk about what I want, what I need, and what I feel without having to control and manage everything around me. I don't let my life lead me. I lead my life. God loves me the way that I am, but He loves me too much to let me stay where I'm at. I don't try to fix people anymore. I don't um, play God. I used to love playing God, and I really thought I was good at it, but it doesn't work. I lived a lot of my life in a lie, and now I was like living in truth. What I'd love to tell a newcomer is try it for six weeks. That's what I do. There are people here that love me the way I was, and they promised that if I didn't like it, they'd give me my misery back. Jump in. Your freedom is waiting on the other side. Sitting in these chairs in our circles is life-changing. I've never ever come here and wished that I wouldn't have come, but every time that I come, something touches my life and changes me. I came here because I had to. I stay here because I couldn't imagine my life without Celebrate Recovery.